from Spain has had her first rehearsal here at Eurovision 2023. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah! And we need to talk about it. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this! Oh my gosh. You guys, we don't have much to go by, but we have a few photos and a brief clip from RTVE. And let me tell you, the word Thank is you. texture. Blanca Paloma has changed the texture of her top. Before it was just a cloth, an absorbent cloth, but now it is latex. It is like oh. vinyl. It's reflective. Yeah. It shines. It's more modern, more contemporary. What Spain has done, and we've seen this today in these photos and this brief clip, mm -hmm. is make this more more contemporary. The song is still yes. flamenco. It still honors tradition and her roots, but there's this very modern flair. She was doing it at the pre-parties with the lighting, with the beat, with the electronic flourishes, and she's doing it again visually and stylishly and um, seductively and hormonally. You know, every adjective you can think of is more oh modern. Gosh, it's the more queen modern. of the moon, <laughs> reina de la luna. Well, you know the moon oh, and bro. cycles. We ain't gonna go into the yeah. those kind of hormones. But anyways, all I have to say is this. It's looking good for Spain, Katie. Certainly is. I think the jury is going to eat this up. This rehearsal, it looks visceral. We've got the blood red. We've got the movement. Like I say, we're not going off much, but from what we can see, I think the vocals are on point. I think it's really going to, you know, the Spanish televoters, like it's going to charm them. Anyone who's interested in Latin music, Spanish mm. music, it's really going to draw them in with the movement. I'm so glad she's kept it true to Benidorm Fest. I think that's what everyone fell in love with. And yeah, I'm excited to see more. I need to see more. He's your blood moon rising. <laughs> I just said that red blood moon. I was like, girl, yes. Oh my gosh, mi alma dorada. Te amo tanto. Muchísimas gracias. This is everything. This is, at some point she has, she's, she's on a platform on the center and then the girls are circling her. Yeah. That's the moment. It's, she's literally like the, the queen of the moon right there. And then the girls are the shining lasers. Mm, Can I say that? Yeah. You know? And vocally, they, they, they did something something special with the song. It's different. It's revamped, of course. And it gives more, more orgasm for us. Eargasm, eargasm. Mm. Listening to her vocals, you know, we know that she, she, she never ever, you know, sung false notes. No. And she will not do that at Eurovision. She, she hits. Uh, she hits like, dang. Yeah. And then pa, 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 pa. I absolutely love this. And we need actually more, but... You know what, we, we have enough because she I is enough. And I love the arrow, you know, that is her power going to you. That is the power of her grandmother, Carmen, for all of the people. Carmen, she's like... Oh my goodness. It, yeah. it, it's warm yeah. like a cafe con leche. It's smooth like Mi a cafe leche, con leche. leche. I just, it's got the heat of a cafe con leche. <laughs> it's got that protein, girl. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, um, final thoughts. Do you think this could make the top five of the Eurovision Song Contest or even win? Oh, I think she's the one, the only act that can challenge Laureen from Sweden with jury votes. Interesting. Yes. I'm not sure about the televote though. Yeah, it's a mystery. It's, it's mysterious. A mystery, yes, like but jury, she, I think she's the only one who can challenge Loreen with the, um, you know, jury votes. I'd say you could, even though it's traditional, you could argue yes. it's more original yes. because it's this unity of tradition and modernity yes. as opposed to being a dark dance pop song. I obviously love Loreen, but I'm just saying yes. what could be in Blanca's favor is the fact that it harks to the past while reaching for the future. Mm. I mean, think of Kalush, think of Goe, you know, these traditional oh, songs. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they do win all over televoters and then I think if Chanel can win over the juries why can't this win over the televoters I would put mm. this in top three all right we're gonna swap out quickly yeah. bye adios y'all <laughs> who is coming Jonathan's coming I see Katie do you want to step out for a second oh, Oliver yeah. uh, Simon whoever oh. we got to keep it quick Simon come on the couch okay. we're just gonna go around very briefly how you think this will do and your thoughts on those stunning images I mean I've always had Spain as the only country besides Sweden and Finland who can win Eurovision so these visuals are giving me a lot of things and I am more confident now actually that she's going to challenge for the jury vote. Mm. Visuals look great. I had no 
no, I was under no illusion that she wasn't going to get the jury vote. I think that was always going to be the case. This is probably going to come top five with the juries, but as has just been the conversation, you never know how the televote is going to respond to this kind of music. As much as we can reference Goe or Kalush Orchestra, you can also think about Naviban from Belarus. And, you know, they got through to the final. They did well by that standard, by all means, but they weren't challenging for the win. Mm. It's a very different type of song. I'm just trying to make that reference, you never know how people are going to respond, and it's a very local flavour. Visually absolutely stunning from the very short clip that we've got, vocally obviously on point, um, most definitely challenging for top five, uh, if not slightly higher. Um, I think the one thing I'd say is, once we hopefully see more, I really want to see if she's changed the intro to something similar to what we had at the pre-parties, that sort of yeah. slow build up because I think that's what's really gonna help draw people in. And I think if she's got that, then she's got a very good chance. Final point for me, you know the bit where the backing singers are like, yeah, 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 they're making these really like loud high-pitched sounds. I think that some people at home may interpret that as a gimmick when in fact it is a beautiful tradition. Yeah. But that will help them though, because it's kind of that thing, again, people are drunk at the party, like, ooh, those ladies making those noises, which sounds really weird to me. They may be insulting it with their thoughts, but it's actually a benefit to Spain when it comes to voting, because it's memorable. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Can Spain win the Eurovision Song Contest? Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. And we will see you on all Weeby Blogs socials all over and in the Weeby Blogs Lush Lounge. And Blanca Paloma is going to be here next week, which we are very excited about, so please come along. Tuesday, May 9th, 2 p.m. Like this video, comment down below and hit subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.